Picking a baby name can be incredibly difficult. You don't want him to be one of 17 Liams, nor do you want little pilot inspector teased on the playground either. Sadly, there is no perfect formula. But there are some names you can cross off right now, as they're clearly headed for oblivion. Sorry, Grey's Anatomy fans. Despite the show's enduring popularity and the fact that Dr. Grey is still saving lives, we're going to have to call it quits on Meredith. This name has been on the decline for a while. According to baby name website Baby Center, from 2017 to 2018, Meredith slipped down 137 places to rank shockingly low at number 696. This Welsh name might mean great ruler, but Meredith's reign is over, at least for now. The name hit peak usage in the late 1970s and early 1980s, thus it's possible that its drop in the rankings might just be a sign that people have finally decided it sounds old-fashioned. While it might circle back into common usage one day, it'll probably be several years before that happens. For now at least, Meredith is one of the most unpopular names of the year. Not even Dennis the Menace could have orchestrated a catastrophe as big as the one that has hit his name. It seems like parents all over the country woke up and realized that Dennis, which was popular with the baby boomer generation, was too old-fashioned for a child of the 21st century. From 2008 to 2018, the name dropped over 300 places, now coming in at a lowly 696. Talk about a fall from grace! While it seems like this name was popular just yesterday, some of the most famous people associated with it are actually middle-aged. It's hard to believe, but actor Dennis Quaid was born in 1954, and former Bad Boy NBA star Dennis Rodman, who hasn't been sinking hoops professionally for years, was born in 1961. While it might seem like the film Heathers was released not that long ago, the cult classic actually came out in 1988. By the time any babies born in 2018 are old enough to appreciate the dark humor of that film, they'll think that Heathers sounds like a name for grandmothers. They won't be that far off the mark, either. While the name was incredibly popular when the film came out, enough time has passed that Heather has officially become so last year. While the name managed to hang on to a slot in the top 1,000 names for baby girls long after its heyday, it has dropped 360 places since 2017, now coming in at number 1,322. Unless a miracle occurs, there's no way to resurrect Heather and restore it to its former glory anytime soon. The name Marvin landing on this list really hits home the fact that the heyday of Motown music is long gone. The records of Marvin Gaye defined a generation in the 1960s and 1970s, but the influential musician passed away in 1984. Thus, it's been a while since his name topped the Billboard charts. We don't need to hear it through the grapevine to know that Marvin has also slid down the baby name charts. We just need to look at the numbers. Marvin slipped down 113 places since 2017, landing at a 2018 rank of 887. Its drop isn't too much of a surprise when you consider that the name reached its peak in the 1930s. This might indicate that Marvin's current unpopularity is a temporary state, and it might cycle back into style after a few years of being considered old-fashioned. For now, however, we've got to give it up. Gloria was pretty popular in the early and mid-20th century, but it dropped a bit after the 1950s. It still hung around for a while, managing to stay in the top 1,000 names for girls for decades after hitting its peak, but it looks like 2018 was the year to destroy Gloria's tenuously held relevance as the name dropped 151 spots to land at 918. This name has had a huge historical impact. There's women's rights activist Gloria Steinem, but considering that she was born in 1934, it makes sense that people are starting to think of the name as a little bit dated. Laura Branigan's hit song Gloria is slightly more recent, but we're still pretty far removed from its 1982 release. This name might be unpopular now, but don't discount it for good just yet. To paraphrase another famous Gloria, we think it'll survive. For whatever reason, 2018 has not been kind to the name Randy. While it's slowly been fading from popularity since it hit its peak in 1956, we would have guessed that it would see a graceful descent into obscurity, then make a comeback a few decades later. Alas, that doesn't appear like it's meant to be. In 2017, Randy was ranked 665, down just 31 places from 2016. Now, however, the name has experienced a horrible downfall, dropping to a devastating low of 1182. 
Randy Jackson, born in 1956, and Randy Travis, born in 1959, prove that the name has been around for a while. But nowadays, you're unlikely to meet many Randys younger than their 50s or 60s.